but they still never had a no-hitter. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Lumberjack. All right. Now, this is going to be the final game that I do in the regular season. I think I I just I none of the matchups in in September really interest me at all. So I'm just going to go straight through after this game's over. I'm going to go this sim all of September. Now from it doesn't matter. We've already won the division anyways. We're like almost 40 games ahead. The opener of a three-game series between the New York Mets and the Chicago Cubs. Jank Arrieta will be on the mound for the series opener. EK, what do you got? Well, Matt, he, he's looking to knock down that ERA. You see there, he's into the fours, looking to have a little better start than what he's been accustomed to. Outside in a full count, three and two. Look. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Arietta into the windup. Full count charge. Pitch Hit hard toward the right side. He dives, but he can't pull it in, and it's down the line into right. And he'll get in there, standing up with a leadoff double. And that right there, guys, is a leadoff hitter playing his role to a tee. I mean, not only does he burn through a bunch of pitches, so he lets everybody in that dugout see exactly what this guy is throwing, and then he caps off the at-bat by driving a ball for a leadoff double. That's as good as it gets. Alfonso Casilla will dig in now, and he's come through in many a situation like this, currently fourth in the National League RBI race. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Catch made out there in left center as the runner may tag from second. And he'll make it up to third safely. May here tag. I was hitting washers here. That, here are Terry Collins, <laughs> New York Mets. I know, bad what joke, but I don't care. To keep this winning streak rolling, Steve. Well, all they have to do is keep doing what they're doing. This team has a very high average, continuing to hit well as a team, and they'll continue to win games. Brian Wood will stand in as the watch is in full effect now as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. Yeah, and he's been playing great over his last 10 games with a few home runs and driving the ball, too. Has to be thinking strikeout here. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Yeah, that's the put away curveball. A great pitch with two strikes. You start it in the zone and then let it work out and see if they'll chase. But I didn't. Swing and he popped him up. And that will not score the run from third. No, it's not. And Castro will put this one away for route number two. Scott Young will stand in here with a chance to pad his RBI total. And as you can see, he currently sits third in the National League in that category. Yeah, and here we are, right in the middle of... Oh, hold on here. Well, uh -oh. the deep left there center. it goes! I think this one's coming back. No siree, this one is gone. So a two-run <laughs> shot to left center. 34 home runs now on the year. As the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. Oh, man. Well, one thing you can say about this guy, he doesn't hit many fence scrapers. I mean, look where this thing comes down. There aren't too many guys that are going to visit that area of the yard. That is way out of here. Vinny Batista will take his first cuts here as we run the numbers to see his splits between July and August. Yep, Vinny Bats. To right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back to back home runs. Ah. A solo no, shot here. No, wait, it's way more. I think what? Nah. Let me see. I don't remember which way Waveland Avenue is in. He just can't throw that pitch right there. That swing tells a story right there. I mean, 
He got all of that one. Remember, he homered in yesterday's right. ball game. Come on, too, Google so Maps. Slow we're riding a pretty good hot streak these past goals. couple of days. Eric Hosmer will dig in for the first time now. One home run shy of 30 on the year so far. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. Yep, Earl is a well-liked umpire all-around baseball by both pitchers and hitters. The reason for that, he's consistent, and his zone is kind of what you hope for. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Yeah, and on one and two, when you know the guy at the plate needs to protect, that's a great spot for that curveball. A lot of guys, they would have gone fishing for that. Frozen for strike three, and that retires the side. Uh, well, that's on me. I'm just sitting here too busy looking for Ridley Field. <laughs> we'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Mets three. The Cubs coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Ken Endo gets the call for game one of the series. What's your take on him, E.K.? Oh, uh, man, okay. he's got close to 200 innings this year. Been very dependable, thrown deep into a lot of ball games. He's looking to do the same in this one. Starlin Castro will stride in now. Back in the lineup after being limited to pinch hit duties in yesterday's ball game. Wow, I didn't realize it was this far out. Okay, 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 okay. So, yeah, that's... Okay, so Waveland, Waveland is left field, Sheffield Ave is right field. Okay, wow, I didn't realize how far north in Chicago it is. A little behind on that swing, and now they'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Now a change of locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. And now time to check how Joe Madden has lined the Cubbies up in this one. Who are you focused on, EK? Well, of course, you have to like what Anthony Rizzo brings to this offense. He works hard at his craft, and he really knows what works for him at the plate. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. He caddies Mets as they enter play here tonight. Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. And the even better news for them is that they've got their ace going here tonight. So you have to figure that all signs are pointing toward another victory here. And with that, let's take a look at the defense for the New York Mets. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, guys, when you talk about elite defensive outfielders, this guy's at the top of anyone's list. Jason Hayward can cover ground. He's got an unbelievable arm. And when you're talking about defensive run save, there aren't a lot better. Strike three called, and the inning is over. That pitch was sick. Not too shabby. Oh, that pitch was sick. Wrigleyville, right after this. Brandon Moss makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. And they jumped out to that early lead, so now it's all about just adding on. Tapped out in front of home. Franco scoops it up. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Jason Hayward steps in for the first time. One of those guys really needing something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go of it lately. Hard liner to center field. A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. Pedro Siriaco will get his first shot now. He, too, had three knocks in yesterday's win. Well, Matty just continues this string of his last 10 games where he's hitting over 300. He has those really, really nice games mixed in there. Ah, gets him to Ugh. swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Now that was, lucky. yeah, wow. Contact on that one. Oh, 
Oh, and he leaves another one over the plate, and this ball's driven to left. And for that the might be out on Wavelength. He has served up a home run. It's a two-run <laughs> shot to straightaway left. 24 home runs for him on the season. And the Mets have got it up to a 5-0 game now. Boy, that guy on the mound right now is absolutely livid. He knows that he threw way too hittable of a pitch in the situation when he's ahead in the count like that. Uh. He should be mad at himself. Not only was it was it hittable, it was hit out. Stepping in now, Mike Linebrink. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Ariette is ready. Here's the one two. Chop foul at the plate, and we'll do it again. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And he makes the throw to first. Line break is retired. Two down now. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Alfonso Casilla as the switch hitter will take his cut left-handed here. This is where he's so comfortable hitting righties so far. Oh, yeah, yeah, that curveball. Hitting over 300 on the year. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that misses two and two. You know, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? In the air out to left. Van Slyke is there. And the inning is over. Scott Van Slyke. But the Mets do strike his, <coughs> coming on this two his dad played runs. for the Pirates. The Andy Van Slyke. Two. It's the Mets five. And the Cubs, nothing. But, I mean, his dad played for the Pirates back when Bobby Bonilla and Barry Bond played for the Pirates. So that should tell you how long ago that was. Ready on one and two. Chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Jorge Soler will stand in, and as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against the southpaws than he does against right-handers. One and two, here it comes. Fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. A ball and two strikes, here's the pitch. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. Well, the strikeouts sure come in bunches for this guy. Remember, he had ten of them in his last start, and he's well on his way to maybe even matching that number in this game. Into the box now, Steve Pierce. This one's flared toward left center. Siriaco has got it, and the side is retired. Brian Wood is into the box as we are all set to begin the third. And you know, guys, yeah. I love a guy like this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact, and he can run. Changes up on him there, but it's one and two. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Nah, I was a little late on that one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Vance Light is there. One down. Striding into the box. Scott Young will swing it from the left side right here. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. Oh, and he turns another one around here. And his fine ball game will continue. Give him another home run. So a solo shot here to left center field. His second of the game. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. 
Yeah, Cubby's fan should probably look away. That pitcher's got to be thinking, how can I throw a pitch like that in this situation? That thing was so right down the middle, it absolutely got hammered, and he knew it as soon as he let go of it. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right-hander's begun to get loose. Standing in now, Vinny Batista. One and two. Seems like they're showing All faith right. in this guy, leaving him out there. And I think you appreciate that as a pitcher, but sometimes when you don't have it, you don't have it. Looks like this is going to be one of those times. Yeah. That's Barry part of the reason why I don't the one play a pitcher. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra. Yeah, I don't do a pitcher and run to the show because it's just, you know. And he's two for two as he's in there with a double. It's boring because it's you're pitching, you know? Yet, and he's already given up more hits so far than he did in his entire start last time out. He hasn't been able to reproduce what he had going on last time, at least not to this point. He pulls this one into right, and that's in there. Base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Here comes the Chicago skipper now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's got <laughs> Justin Grimm. Here. Do it for <laughs> yeah, it's, gr Justin Grimm. it's a grim situation for the Cubbies. But I'll just the third inning. He may be asked to work for a while. Here it comes on one and one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Ready to deliver the one and two. That's lifted the other way out to left. On the move is Van Slyke. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And he will score on the There you go. Run. Good work there to pick up that second run of the inning. He just gets the ball airborne, and it's plenty deep enough to pick up the RBI. Jason Hayward strides in after getting a base hit and later scoring the first time around. One and one, here it is. Pulled toward right center field. Soler is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Mets are out on top, seven to nothing. Erismendi Alcantara will lead things off here with his guys. Oh, that's a mouthful. Early going. Steve Lyons, how do you come back from a deficit like that? Well, I think slowly. I mean, yeah, ideally a 10-run inning would be great. But you've got time on your side. You don't need to try to get it all back at once. Just pack away. A couple runs here, a couple runs there. Get yourself in the slam ring. That's four runs down. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Oh, he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine-pitch at-bat. Alfonso Franco will stand in, and as you take a look at the splits there, he's actually a better hitter against right-handed pitching this season. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here's the one and two delivery. Hit out towards second. Wood fields it cleanly on to first, and there are two down. Scott Van Slyke will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. 
Cubs to this point have yet to break into the hit column. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They need to get something cooking here. It's seven nothing. <laughs> Holy crap. I cannot believe I'm pitching this good. Is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Well, guys, they jumped out to that big lead early on in this game, but you really can't get comfortable. You have to keep putting pressure on. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. I probably should have taken that pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center, calling for it. Alcantara, one away. Into the box, Mike Linebring. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes, and the first two are retired. Yeah, way too early on that pitch. Four. Alfonso Casilla will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. Yeah, and he just needs to make a small adjustment and stay through the middle of the ball. Think about hitting the line drive right back up the middle. And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. Brian, now to the plate, Brian Wood. He flew out in his last at bat. And that's just not really his game. Anytime he keeps it on the ground, he's got a pretty good chance of beating out a hit. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And now a curveball as he's got a lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. Boy, a two-out single. Now nearly a hit by pitch. You've got to be careful right here not to let this inning get away from him. Lifted the other way to left center. Van Slyke sprinting after it. A dive, and he brings it in. Oh, you asshole. Play. The <laughs> inning is over. <laughs> Although I will admit that is an awesome catch. This is catch. a beauty to end the inning. Still, that asshole robbed me of a hit. All right, I'll be back in a sec. I gotta take a quick potty break. Let's get this game going again. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Trying to strike him out for the second time. This is lifted out to left. Casilla has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. Second baseman, number nine. 
Javier Baez is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a pretty decent at bat. As I remember, he saw a lot of pitches and really made the guy on the mound earn that strikeout. The one and two pitch. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off and he'll get another chance. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked the batter to this point. So his control has been really good. Spot on so far. Into the box, Anthony Rizzo. Oh, at the green light there, but it's three balls and a strike now. A hundred miles an hour is hard. A high 100, impossible to get on top of. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Ah, down, son of a bitch! And you check this out. Yeah. This is on the inside part of the plate. But Jesus! Come on, game. Can I get a fucking perfect game just once? God! Yeah, that pretty much makes it every edition since of MLB. Every edition since. 06, 07, 08, 09, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and now 16. I've never had a perfect game in any edition of the show since 06. I have had a perfect, I have had several no hitters though, but. Sorry, uh. My legs started itching. Sorry about that. Stepping in now, Mike Olt. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left. Scott I like yes. Yeah. Heads to the box to start off the fifth in this one. Well, you know, he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Got him swinging in the dirt. <laughs> And he makes the I should have taken that pitch. Retired and there's one away. Vinny Batista strides into the box. Vinny Bats. Launch one over the wall back in the opening frame. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. And now the Cubs bullpen will start working here as both a lefty and a righty are up. Hard hit ball to second. Backhanded. Throw gets him. Two down. Eric Hosmer will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make... Jorge Soler comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. Boy, they've got some work to do here, but there's still a lot of time left. Oh, come on! Chip away, chip away. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. And this one gets away. Damn it. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, I don't know what's more surprising here, guys. The fact that that pitch was so far away from the strike zone or the fact that the batter still tried to hit it. Nevertheless, it's going to go down as a wild pitch. Casilla will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number one. Center fielder, number seven, Aaron Digging in, Arismendi Alcantara. He got called out on strikes. His uh, last time to bless you. It's always tough to go down looking, but the thing I remember about his last at bat is that he really made the pitcher work. He saw a bunch of pitches, and that's a bigger deal than a lot of people realize. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Another 1-2 delivery. High in the air out to center field. Line break is under it. Two down. Mm -hmm. 
Alfonso Franco stands in. He's over one after grounding out. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Yeah, one pitch away now from getting through five shutout innings. And I'll tell you what, the way he's throwing, this could turn out to be a night off for the bullpen. And that is through into center field, a base hit. And he is safe at the plate as they get Son off. Son of a bitch. Here. It's a seven to one game now. Now I really have nothing to pitch for. Scott steps in to try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Yeah, sorry, headphone users. I have a tendency to whistle. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. Five innings complete. The Mets lead this one seven to one. Brandon Moss makes his way to the box to lead us off in the sixth inning. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a high pop up back onto the outfield grass now. And the sixth inning opens with a flyout, one away. Well, I guess it was grim for us, not grim for them. For him in two trips thus far. And you know, I think he's had a good approach in each of his first two at bats. He seems to be seeing the ball well and putting some decent swings on it. High and deep to right center. Alcantara ranging back. Out of here. She was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. A home run. A solo shot that time off the bat of Jason Hayward. Number 21 for him on the season, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Oh, whatever these guys are putting in their pregame meal, you can be darn sure they're getting the same setup tomorrow. That's five home runs as a team now. I mean, these guys are feeling it up there. Pedro Siriaco will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. Line toward right center, and he'll lay out to make a spectacular oh, come on! Wow. Mike Linebring, ready to take another shot, went down on strikes his last time on. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometimes. And Baez will put this one. Yeah, away that was a bit of an shot. excuse me swing. But the Mets are able to. Starlin Castro will stand in to start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently, the table setters have not been getting their chores done. Jammed him a bit there as it's fouled at the plate. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. And the throw is there to record the first out. So yet another strong outing for him tonight as we show you the league leaders in ERA. There you see him, Matt. Third in the National League at the moment in that category. And when you're pitching as well as he is, the scoreless innings just seem to stack up. He's got another good outing going here. In time to first, and there are two away. First baseman, Anthony Rizzo steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Cubs are down in order. It's still an eight-to-one ball game. All right, sixth inning. We're rolling, boss. Welcome back here to the historic, friendly confines of Wrigley Field. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Arotis Vizcaino will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again.
And another foul ball. By the way, the seat Ferris Bueller was in in the movie is over, is off to the left side of the screen. In case you're wondering. Tap foul at home plate. Way outside. One and two. Well, he might have just said, look, you're going to have to take this one because you ain't fouling that one off. Line drive to center field. Yeah, but right to the center fielder. For the first down. Well, that one looked like for all the world, it was a sure single leading off the inning. It was certainly hit hard enough, but evidently it was hit a little too hard as it winds up getting flagged down, and that's just a tough break. Brian Wood will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one. Usually a major force in their offense. Van Slyke is going to get this. Just, are you fucking kidding me? Every time I hit something, it's going towards somebody. You might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this. Oh. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I hate games like this. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. Okay, I'm probably not going to be able to monetize the video now. After that little... It swung on and hit in the air. Alcantara on the move. And that retires the side. Mets go down one, two, three. Michael uh -huh. will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup. Four, five, and six as they try to get something going. This whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run. That's it. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strike out of the game. Jorge Soler will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. Well, we've been talking about it a lot. This offense is just getting shut down right now. We've seen some really fantastic pitching in this one. Now the pitch. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Well, we've talked about it already, but this has just been an absolutely dominating performance out there. That's 14 strikeouts. Into the box now, Steve Pierce. Oh, he pulls the string on the circle change, one and two. Boy, he is putting on a clinic out there right now. These guys don't know what to look for. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Squared that one up just a little late. Now another one, two. Bounced softly in front of the plate. Young going to have to hurry. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Three up, three down for the Cubs. It's still an eight to one ball game. Vinny yes, Batista it is. We'll stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. Alcantara going back on it, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Well, he's right on the fastball here. You get a look. He gets that bat head out front and just rips his ball into the alley and right. Gets the inning started with a nice leadoff double. Yep, nice Eric double Oswald from Vinny Betts. Gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. That's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's a 9-1 ball game. Well, if you want to point fingers at who's to blame for this disaster, you're going to need the to pitching, the defense, the just put a line through this one, blah, blah, blah. Come on, Sony. You, you could at least update the commentary. Sliced hard on the ground. 
And that's through for his first base hit in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And this is something they've worked on in the batting shift, taking some of the movement out of his swing. Much more compact now, and he's seeing some definite results. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit hard up the middle. Gloved by Castro. A ah, flip of his glove for one. On the first. And a big ah, ground ball there as they turn the that's probably the last away. thing I needed to be doing in that situation, but whatever. In, and perhaps looking to drive another one out of the park just like he did in the second. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through into center. All right, field. there we go. And the score is the runner from third. This guy has certainly been a tough out so far. He follows up that home run from earlier with his third RBI of the ball game. Come on, let a hand. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. That look says it all in the third base dugout. That's not the look of a guy who's going to be sleeping well tonight, is it? Drilled right back up the middle. That's through for a base hit. His second of the ball game. That, that hit the pitcher's mound and ricocheted off of it. Really sticking it to him right here. That's the fifth hit he's popped up in this inning alone. And I gotta believe that that leash is getting a little bit shorter. Passing battle. Jerome Napier will come on now in a mop-up role. Though she'll just try and keep this deficit from growing. Oh, that ball is crushed. Is a moonshot, folks. And that was to center field. Oh, man. So a three-run shot to right center field. Number 35 now on the season. As the blowout continues. 475. Wow. You want to talk about an offensive explosion? That's six home runs as a team so far. I mean, you, you might get that once a season. The whole lineup's been absolutely dialed in. Standing in now, Brian Wood. Fly ball out toward left center field. Alcantara giving chase. Ah, oh, Sikeso. And that'll end the inning. As a player, I went over. As the team, holy crap! Now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Now batting. Alfonso Franco will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Chop foul right at home plate. Again, he sends it out of play. Well hit the other way again. It's into the ah. Around first, heading for second now. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one-out double. Crap. Scott Van Slyke digs in. Yeah, that pitch was supposed to be in that. In that. So let's see if they come out of it with the hard stuff again. That pitch was supposed to be down here, and it was up and in. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. Yeah, and the strikeouts just continue to pile up out there for both guys. That's the third time he's set him down so far tonight. Starlin Castro will stand in for the fourth time now. Still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. Oh! Performance so far. They've had these guys that was not supposed to go that way. Yeah. And the 2-1 pitch. 
That's going to even up the count at two and two. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Skied into straightaway right. Hayward giving chase. And that's the third out. Cubs strand one. And as you can see, they are way behind. Kind of interested to see who the player of the game is going to be. He homered back in the third inning. One and one, here it comes. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Pitch on the way. And a swing and a miss. Ah. There for the first out here I should have taken that they one. Really late on this one. I mean, really late. You can see I should have taken that pitch. The gets the barrel through. I mean, it's darn near in the catcher's glove already. That tells me yeah, that one's on me for not, for not taking else. a pitch. And now, Vinny Batista hit on the ground down the first baseline. For the bag with himself is Rizzo for the out. Eric Hosmer steps in after hitting an RBI single his last time around. Now a swing and a fly ball. Vance Light is after it. And it in fact lands in the corner. Foul. Here's the pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Vance Light is in pursuit, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So a good bounce back inning. Javier Baez will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Yep, this is yep. a mop-up time out there right now. But hey, these at-bats still count against your batting average. So you can't go up there and just mail it in. You've got to see this through right to the end of the game. Line drive to left. Casilla is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth. This crowd was open for one away. Anthony Rizzo ready to try again. Struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And that's taken for a cold strike two. You know, he's pitched a really nice ball game to this point, but this is a big moment for him. Getting through the heart of this order at this stage of his outing would be huge. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Fly ball to straightaway left. Casilla is there, and quickly two are gone here, and it's not looking good for the home nine. Mike Olt will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Well, guys, it just hasn't been his day. You know, sometimes cleanup hitters are sort of all or nothing type hitters. But hey, he's still got a chance to make an impact on this game right now. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And there's the ball game. The ball game is over. Well, we talked about how they needed a good outing out of this guy. And he gave him that and even more, finishing off the complete game victory. One more look at the final line score right. there to see the great pitching performance. One strike out away. So pitcher. who's it? Who is it? It's the pitcher. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player. Boom. Of the game. Yeah, really a dominating performance out there. Look at all the strikeouts. I mean, they just couldn't touch it. So that'll just about do it for Eric Harrow, Steve Lyons. And that is ball game over. Also, regular season over because, yeah. Okay. So, here goes.
It's September 1st. Welcome to Inside the Show as rosters have expanded. Starting. Okay, there we go. All right. All right. Now. Wow, my Triple A team won the PCL championship. Holy shit! My Triple A team, my Triple A team won the national. It's, it's like national champions. Oh my god, that is awesome! One twenty-five and thirty-seven. Whoa! Oh my God! What the fuck? <sighs> Thanks for making us a part of your morning. Let's. I, I just, I don't fucking understand that. All of a sudden it just sent everything through. Oh. It just like sent everything. That's not what I wanted. All right, well. All right. 128 and 34 this time. Okay. Uh, I won the triple crown. Okay, let's see the awards. Silver Slugger. National League MVP. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's right. I hear an award. Scott Young got a gold glove. I got one, and Hayward got one. And James Bond got the Cy Young. There we go. I'm just taking a look at the other stuff. Catcher. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, the postseason hasn't concluded. Now, let's take a look at the American League. Okay. 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 Uh-huh. 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 What's this? Well, you guys are going to have to frame by frame that one. <laughs> All right, I am going to save this.
All right, there we go, folks. Next episode will be the NLDS. As for me, I will see you next time. As always, I've been Lumberjack. Try to behave yourselves. And uh, peace out.